So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it is time for another Dax Fridays. And in today's Dax Fridays, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is visualization, but using Dax. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how you can create um, a Dax measure that you can use to format all over your report. So, you know, when you're doing conditional formatting, that you're doing it probably one by one. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. And I'm going to show you how. I'm also going to show you how you can um, highlight the highest and the lowest value in a series because it is a very common request. So fits in the topic. Why not? OK, you ready? Let's go. So we are here in the North Wind um, in Power BI. This is the North Wind database, the one that we always use, completely free. Link down below to be able to get it and you know to know how to use it. But also you'll get this file as always in Curva.com Download Center Tax Friday. Okay. So with that said, what I have in front of me is sales, the North Wind sales by uh, Yearman. So we're going to start how to calculate or how, how to format the highest and the lowest values of a series. This is a very, very powerful way to draw the attention to something into a visual. OK, so if you see these like, mm, you know, you don't see a lot of stuff. Uh, so it is very, very good if you could, you know, highlight this is the highest number. So highlight the green and the lowest, for example, highlight red. It's a very common visualization trick that I really like. So how do you do that? There are a lot of formatting options, but there's no like out of the box format the highest value. So you have to find the highest value in DAX and then format it. Let's do that. So we're going to create a measure that first creates the highest value, finds the highest value, and then we format it. How do we do that? So highest value. So we're going to create a variable because then we're going to format it. It just is cleaner, highest value. And because we're using sales, we want to have the highest value of sales. Sales is a measure. We're going to use max x. I already have a video explaining max x. But max x goes is an iterator. It goes through the table and it finds, you know, row by row and it finds the highest value. But we wanted in this case to have to find the max value of whatever it is selected in the pane. So we're going to use all selected. And then from calendar, this case is year month. Year month. And then give us the sales. So it says from whatever is being selected in the visual, go through the sales measure and find the highest value. Shift enter, return, as always with variables. I have a video on variables too, so make sure you go and check that out if you need to. And then uh, let's use if we will use switch for the next one. So you can see both. I have also a video on switch if you don't know how to use how to use it, but if you know for sure. So we say if um, sales equals to the highest value then format it and i have my color in here so i'm going to copy that enter so now we have a measure that finds the highest value and format it how do we apply this in here so as you can see here, there is no, for this bar chart, there is no conditional format in here. It is always for me a mystery where the conditional formatting is, because depending on the visual, it's in a new place, which drives me nuts. In this case, you go to the format pane, you go to data colors, and I completely forgot that they just changed this like two months ago. You have to go in here and do conditional formatting. So more hidden, you cannot find it. I mean, but now you know, let's not complain. Okay, so format, field value. And here we're going to go and find our highest value. And we've already said how we wanted it formatted, so we don't need to do anything else. And here you have it. 
Great, right? So you want to have lowest value too? No problem. You go in here and copy that, shift enter, and then instead of highest, we write here lowest value and instead of max obviously we have mean and here we says if highest value then that otherwise if lowest value lowest value equal to <laughs> if sales equal to lowest value then another color let me pick the color from here. I'm like super picky with colors. Put it in there and then enter. And voila. So now you have a chart that shows you the highest and the lowest value. Now I'm going to show you something which threw me off, to be honest. Uh, but I don't know why this is happening. Maybe you know, you can help me with that. If I go here to year months, you can see that this is not sorted by year month. So if I go to modeling and then go to year month, and then I say, okay, I want to sort year month by year month, the formatting disappears. And I can, I, I just don't know why. Maybe you know why. Let me know in the comment box. Is, is gone. It's completely gone. So <laughs> if you know, let me know because I have uh, no idea. Maybe it is a bug, maybe it's something other, but why sorting would have an influence of conditional formatting is... I don't know, to be honest. Okay, now, next. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a DAX measure that will have some parameters of how we want to format sales. Uh, we need to remove actually the condition of this sorting, otherwise it won't work. Uh, so, so you can apply it everywhere. Watch this, it's super cool. Again, it won't work when you're sorting, which is not so good, but you probably know an answer, so let me know. Uh, we're going to create a new measure. This time I'm going to copy it because it's just going to take otherwise too long time to, for me to write it with all the hex codes and stuff. So, modeling the new measure. That. So now we're using switch instead of true just to showcase them. There is a video on switch. It is basically any function. It says that it is faster. I don't know. Um, so you have switch true. What it does is it goes through the first one, and if the first one is true, it won't go through it again. Okay, so they exclude each other. So it goes through that one, goes through that one, goes through that one. So it says if sales is less than what is it, fifty thousand, then one color. Less than a hundred thousand, one color. Over one hundred thousand, one color. Okay, so we're saying we, this is the way we want to highlight our sales data. Let's go. Let's go. We save this thing and now we're going to change the formatting for this. We we'll say uh, format pane, data colors, instead of highest value, I want now revenue formatting. How cool is this? Obviously, you can do that if you go here and you go to color scale no rules and then you pick a field in here revenue formatting well you have to sales probably you have to pick sales and then you have to say if it is less than fifty thousand one color if it's you can do it manually but the thing is that you have to do it manually everywhere absolutely everywhere now watch this i can go here to the first page i can go in here and say format pane, data colors, go in there, conditional formatting, go in there, field value, go in there, revenue formatting, boom. And I can go in here in this table 
and say, hey, I want to format that too. I want to sales, go to conditional formatting, go to background color, go to, or maybe you can do background color would be too messy. It's going to be too messy either way, but let's do data bars. No, data bars doesn't have it. So we go to background color, go to there, field formatting, revenue formatting, and boom. And this is obviously dynamic, right? So you'll see that it will change as the data changes. And then you can pick your country and it'll show you the lowest and the highest and the... Now, I've said this quite many times. I don't think it's very user-friendly to highlight everything. So decide what you want to highlight. Say, oh, I want to highlight the highest number or I want to highlight the lowest number because it's a whatever ratio of something that, you know, just highlight one thing. Otherwise it just becomes too, I mean, in this case, you only want to see the yellow. What would you want to see anything else? Or maybe, yeah, okay. So do you know what I mean, right? <laughs> I have talked about that before. So again, if you go in here, this is not sorted. If you go and sort by column week number, the highlighting disappears. And I don't know why, I really don't know why. So let me know if you know why was, was the issue. Um, but this is all for today. I hope you find this useful. Um, another recommendation, make sure that you hide all these columns that you create uh, for conditional formatting if you start using it. I, you know, I normally don't recommend to create a measure stable. I don't like it. I really don't like it and I see it all the time. But in this case, for, for example, titles and formatting, you could actually create a measure stable, put it in there and hide everything. Okay, but otherwise, don't. Anyhow, it is Friday, it is time for you and me, no, not for me yet, but uh, enjoy your Friday. I'll see you again on Monday and uh, I will do the part two of the performer analyzer. I just was planning to do it yesterday. I did not have the time. So sorry about that, but it'll come on Monday. Okay, so we will continue Power Week on Monday. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm shutting that down. Bye.